All right, in part C here, we're asked to balance this equation. I believe this is dichromate, and I believe this is oxalate. And that's going to go to chromium plus 3 plus CO2. We got plenty of H pluses around and plenty of waters around. So let's go ahead and balance this. The key here is to deconvolute or split this up into its corresponding oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction. So what I see here immediately is the Cr2O7 going to Cr plus 3. So let's go ahead and write this half reaction. What I see immediately to my eye is we need to balance out the CRs, chromiums. And then let's balance out the oxygens with water. So uh, we got seven, wa seven oxygens. Uh, let's balance out the hydrogens with H plus. And since we are in acidic solution, uh, we can stop right there. Uh, let's go ahead and balance the charges now. So plus six here, 14 here. So I believe this is going to be an eight electron transfer. 14 minus eight is six. And two times three is six. Okay, so this is how we'll balance this half reaction. We gain eight electrons, so this is a reduction half reaction also known as the cathode if you're talking about a battery. All right, let's look at, um, I believe this is oxalate. Um, 2O4 minus 2 goes to CO2. And let's balance out the carbons. So that's two carbons here, four oxygen. So I'm balanced. The only thing I need is to just balance out the charges. And I can balance out the charges with two electrons. So you see here minus two here minus two here, two carbon, two carbon, four oxygens, four oxygens. Here we lost two electrons, so this is called an oxidation half reaction, and um, it's also known as the anode if you're talking about a battery. So let's multiply this bottom half reaction by four. In so doing, we will have four C2O4 minus two going to four CO2 plus eight E minus. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this bottom half reaction. All right, so rewriting this bottom reduction half reaction. We can go ahead and balance out our electrons. Eight electrons, free electrons will cancel out with these eight free electrons. And I believe this is going to be our final answer of 14H plus Cr2O7 plus 4C2O4 minus 2. And that's going to go to... 4CO2 plus 2Cr3, <clears throat> Cr plus 3, and then finally we have 7 waters. All right, so let's make sure that we are balanced. By the way, uh, I do see a mistake here. This should be 4CO2O4 minus 4 times 2 is 8CO2 and then plus 8 electrons. So we actually have an 8CO2 here. And uh, this should balance now. 4 times 2 is 8 for the carbons, 8 carbons, so that's good. CR is 2 CRs. We have 2 CRs. That's good. Uh, now let's look at the oxygens. So we have 7 plus 16, right? 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 7 is 23 oxygens. Okay, a little worried here. 16 oxygens here plus seven, okay, very good. We have 23 oxygen, so we're balanced with our oxygens. Hydrogens, I'm a little worried about this too, 14. 14, okay, we're good. Now the charges, plus 14 minus eight should equal to a plus six in the total charge on the reactant side. And then yes, plus six total charge on the product side. So this is the answer to uh, part C, balancing it in acidic medium.